what Richard represents to us is a candidate who brings a level of expertise and a, a new form of politics. The 5,000 member labor union Unite Here recently endorsed Richard Moore for governor. State Senator Fred Smith has the backing of nearly 60 Republican members of the General Assembly. And Bob Orr has former Governor Jim Martin and the Black Political Caucus in his corner. But so far, Lieutenant Governor Bev Perdue has racked up the most endorsements, 11 in all ranging from law enforcement associations to women's fundraising groups to the largest teachers association with 70,000 current and retired educators. We worked with her with lots of different issues around raising teacher salaries and dealing with working conditions. Beyond influencing their memberships, Peace College political scientist David McLennan says endorsements have little impact on voters. A recent study suggests maybe two or three percent of the electorate is affected in some way by endorsements. So that means 90 some percent really aren't paying attention. So why bother? It gives the candidate credibility in terms of fundraising. If I can show you my list of 25 endorsing organizations compared to your list of 10, I can say, well, there's some something in my favor, and I can go out and say, therefore, you have to support me in my fundraising. McLennan suggests endorsements will have the biggest impact two or three weeks before our primary as candidates look to one-up each other and get that name recognition. Back to you.